All right, Michael. What are we doing today, mate? Well, the Fairlane's got still a few little teething issues that we need to rectify again. We put the transmission back in again, and we're still not sure whether it's leaking because we can't really tell because right now it doesn't want to idle for some reason. <laughs> so we're trying to figure out that. But it's nothing interesting that we're going to show you on camera. So we thought, what should we do? We might mix it up a bit. So what do we think we should do, Nathan? Time for a new project. Yeah, when this time we thought we'd do something a little different, a little different for us, but something that we've been planning for, geez, a long time now. I, I reckon nearly I reckon, yeah. a year we've been planning <laughs> this, just collecting bits here and there. Yeah. And now the parts have finally come together. We finally have enough to get, at least get a start on and just do a little bit of a fun project, something mm. with a little bit more fab work. Mm. Shall we wheel it in? Yeah, let's wheel it in. <laughs> this is what we're building. <laughs> we're building a go kart. <laughs> yeah, we're going to build a go kart out of a radio flyer. Oh, that really hurt. That wasn't big enough for me. Yeah, it's really small. I bought it and I was like, yeah, this is going to be sick. We'll make a go kart, we can sit in it. But it's going to need some modifying for adults. A lot of modifying. Yeah. So we have some lengths of steel. We've got a bunch of parts. So we're going to build a go kart. Yeah. I've been wanting to build one of these for a long ass time because I've always seen like rat rod radio flyer go karts like they're like this high off the ground. And um, I've just loved it. And I, I said to Michael, we should do this. And then he said, I have the perfect engine. Yeah. And I said, all right, well, I'll find one of these. So I found one of these. So, that's the plan. We're going to turn this thing into a go-kart. It's a lot smaller than I thought, but um, I think there's different sizes of these. Yeah. I think I must have bought the small one. We're going to have to do some widening and some channeling. Yeah, we're going to cut it down the middle and, and, and widen it out a bit. We just thought this would be a fun project to like test our fabrication skills and just have a little bit of fun with it. And it's a relatively cheap project too. Yeah. So this is our engine. This is what we're donating to the cause. When Nathan said that he wanted to build a radio flyer go-kart, I was like, oh, I have the perfect engine for it. And by perfect, I mean it just has the perfect amount of patina. <laughs> Everything else is probably all wrong for it. Um, this is one that my dad gave to me a little while ago now. It's a, yeah, it's it's a Villas, I think it is. This is like an old school stationary engine that would have been used for, I don't know, a, a pump or something like that. You can see here, it's just got a, pulley on it. Um, it does run. We did get it running a year ago now, yeah. I reckon. <laughs> yeah. And it did run, uh, but we haven't run it since then. It is a four stroke this? Yeah. I didn't know. I thought it was a two stroke, but yeah, it's got oil. It's got an oil thing that you fill it up with. Anyway, this is our engine. Should we see if it fires up? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> The nut fell off here, so then the fans. Oh. Weld it? Hey, why not? We might have to. Just weld it on. But at least we know it runs. Yeah. Kind of. That's sick. <laughs> <laughs> so, what we're going to do first is we figured we should probably get an idea of our rear axle width because that's the one thing that we can't really change. Yeah. So, we're going to build this and then we're going to build the rest of the frame around that. I've never built a go-kart before, have you? Nope. Which side do we want this on? I've got no idea. It doesn't really matter because we can just flip it. You're right, we could just flip it. You're 100% right. <laughs> They're bigger rotors than on the Fairlane. I know, yeah. <laughs> It'll probably break better than the Fairlane. We should upgrade. Damn, this is a nice kit, eh? I know. And it, you know what the craziest thing is? This stuff is all dirt cheap. How much? Like that was like 70 bucks. That's crazy. Ah. Ah! Oh, yeah, it's got, a, it's got a grubby screw. Yeah, okay. Okay, this is a little bit more complicated than I thought. <laughs> you haven't heard the best bit yet. What's the best bit? These don't fit our wheels. What? They're too big. 
Why do you do this to me? <laughs> what the hell is it supposed to do then? I looked at it, so we have a problem. Oh, that's completely different. Yeah, so it's a lot smaller, right? Yeah. So what I think we do is we just cut these, new, 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 mm -hmm. and drill new holes. And in order to get it centered so that it doesn't like, like vibrate around, see these, that's got the rings on it. We identify the same ring the whole way around to where we're going to drill the new holes for that. Okay. That's really the only way, other way, only way I could figure out how to do it. Otherwise, we've got to get new wheels. And I really like the look of these wheels. They look real drag spec. You see what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, the, it'll be like right at the tip of that brace. Or even if we just, you know, put it like there, mm. it'll be fine. I think it'll work. We just got to cut it and shut it and re-tap it. Yeah. Or even just put bolts. Did we go through all our parts? Oh, no, we haven't. Oh, I guess we're going through it now. <laughs> yeah. So these are all the parts that we bought. We have wheels, we have a muffler, some stub axles, some hydraulic lines for brakes and steering wheel and little tiny wheels. We bought everything off eBay, basically. This is yeah, a this whole is, eBay this, build. This is an eBay build. And it's working. So far. Let's have a look, see if it works, eh? Yep. Like a glove. Perfect. Happy. Happy. I don't know, that was going to be fun. Alright, so what we found is we found a whole bunch of these Allen key bolts, which is perfect for what we need. They actually came off the intake manifold off the yeah. fair lane, actually. Yeah. So we're reusing parts here. We're trying to recycle, <laughs> apart from all the brand new bits that we bought, we're trying to recycle as much as we possibly can to get this to work. But the best bit about using this is that we get to use an old friend again. So this is our speed brace. Our pogo stick has now become our pitch stop speed brace. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely and lovely. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're bolted in. We're using forward parts. That's pretty solid. That's pretty good. Yeah. So we've got disc brake. We've got chain. Perfect. <laughs> Take a seat. Should we just make an actual go-kart go-kart? At this stage, is basically what it is with just a radio flyer insert. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> we just have Bluetooth axles, Bluetooth motor. We need to lay it out. We need to get that separated and then we'll put the axle up there, sit the engine up there and measure how long we need to make it. Yeah. We know our width. Yeah. All right, let's do that, eh? We'll clear yeah. the bench and separate the radio super. Done, let's do it. Cool. All right, radio super. This is your last days as a radio super. It's like half pulled apart already. We should have pulled it apart. Yeah, we? we pulled it apart to yeah. invest them again, remember? Yeah. For anyone wondering if we're ruining a really good radio super car, we're not. This is stuffed. Yeah. It's not the best. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, it just fell apart on me. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looks better on the ground, eh? Yeah. It's gonna have the mountain of an engine in front of it. Yeah. Alright, I got this. You can really smell that leaded paint, can't you, from the 50s? It's brutal, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's like sick. It. That's it. Chunky. <laughs> How far out does it come? That's probably what, 125? <laughs> it needs to come up, obviously. It needs God, it's going to be deadly because the chain is going to be like right here. Yeah, but we need Unless to what we do, we run it down to like a small cog and then run it forward. Yeah, but up. we're going to have to come up at least 100 mil because by the time. 100 mil? Yeah, by the time we put 40 mil of chassis under it and then you want 50 mil of clearance. Oh, yeah, 40 mil of chassis. Oh, damn. That looks sick though. Where's the engine? Let's put the engine in front. Yeah. So exhaust goes straight. Exhaust <laughs> goes straight into your face. Oh no, that's okay because we're gonna go. That's a big go kart. It's not a little go kart. I like it though. I like it too. It looks sick. All right. So one thing that we forgot to take into consideration is 
This is a stationary motor, which means it does not have a clutch or anything like that. So what I did is I went out and bought a clutch, like it's a typical go-kart clutch thing. And it's, it's got this clutch pack and everything, and it's just going to be a centrifugal clutch. And we're hoping, we haven't tested it yet, we're hoping that this thing puts out enough RPM to actually engage the clutch, because if it doesn't put out enough RPM, then it doesn't work. But we've talked about it, if this engine doesn't work, we'll just buy a little Honda or something and we'll probably just slap it in, because yeah. we're... We're seeing it now, we're determined to make this work because it's kind of cool, I like <laughs> it. But we've got to get this clutch pack all together first to figure out where we're going to run this thing. So, let's first we need to take this pulley off and mount this up and then basically build everything on from that. So, let's clear this out of the way, as much as I love looking at it. Let's see what we're dealing with. Jeez, that's one hell of a grub screw, isn't it? Far out. <laughs> didn't think that wood was going to come off that easy. <laughs> no, I didn't think so either. This might be a little overkill. That looks like it's almost too good to, tr to be true. If it works, it's just... Oh, it's working. Oh. Okay. Okay. It didn't like that. It didn't like that at all. Did it pull it? Did it move it? Yeah, it's moved it a little bit. Let's try again, I suppose. <laughs> we're just gonna, how are we gonna get to a point where there's nothing left? God, we're pretty good at snapping this stuff like lately, aren't we? This is like the face all over again. <laughs> This is going to be a recurring issue. <laughs> Eventually, if we crack enough of it off, we'll get to a solid bit, yeah? <laughs> so what we're actually doing is we're making a cog here. As you can see, there's one tooth, another tooth. We'll just make a few more. Giant and cogs. We're good. Hey, she's moving. <sighs> yeah, it's coming. There we go. Bloody hell. So this is our clutch pack. And we'll be honest, we've got no idea how it works. Uh, so we're going to try to fit it up as best we can. We need to push some bearings in now because we don't have a press. We're just going to do what we always do, which is brute force it. Perfect. <laughs> so we've been looking at this wrong for the past 30 minutes and then we're finally turning around and we think we have this sorted out the way this clutch works. We think this is right. We think this is how it's supposed to work. One thing we do have to do though is we figured out is this little end cap here goes in here uh, and then we assumed there's no instruction with this by the way. That is like our crank bolt I suppose. So we're going to have to tap and drill that out to be able to put that into there. Yep. And then this we figured out, we think it goes like something like this. And then that fits on there with your bolt. That goes down there. Anyway, so what we're thinking we're going to do is zip all this up and see if it works. See yeah. if we can get it to run. Yeah. And see if the clutch works. All right, no time like the present. Let's get into it, eh? All right. So if you're wondering what we're doing right now, this bolt here has snapped off. That shaft has snapped off short of the, where that bolt should be. And it keeps coming off whenever we ran the engine before because there's not enough thread and we can't get a spring washer on it. So what's our solution? Weld it up. <laughs> we're gonna try to anyway. If this doesn't work, we're in a lot of strife. Yeah, no. I reckon just pump the heat up. You're only at 19. You're getting hotter. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> Hopefully she doesn't come off now. Yeah. That'll do, Donkey! Time to test fire again? Yeah. Too 
much load. We've got no idea if that's going to... I don't think it's going to make any power. <laughs> I don't know, we might have to... We need a tuner. Health tech? <laughs> wow. I guess we'll see if it works once it's in it, won't we? Yeah. Alright, we'll call it there for today. Yeah, call it there. Alright, well, it's a new day. I think it's like a week later now. Yeah, it is it? a week later. A yeah. week later. We've uh, got a week's growth. I know, we swear, what do you reckon? How's it going? It's going all right. Yeah, it looks good. Is the Ron Burgundy coming on strong yet? <laughs> That's what I'm aiming for. <laughs> but it's, been, it's been a week later now, and we've been thinking about all week on how we're going to set this thing up, and we think we come up with a solution. And you'll have to apologise because it is an absolutely terrible day, and the rain is bucketing down, so I hope the audio isn't absolutely stuffed. <laughs> so bear with us. But we think we come up with how we want to set this thing up, and this is it. This is what we're thinking. So now we reckon we're going to piece it together. Last week when we worked on this, we got the engine somewhat running and it seems like it's going to be okay. We won't really know whether it's going to work until it's all put together and whether it's actually going to take the load. Worst case, if it doesn't work, then we swap it out for another engine. But I do like the patina of this engine mm. and I really do want to try and get this to work if we can. Maybe we have to strap a turbo to it. Yeah. But this is what we've come up with. So the idea is we're trying to retain... Oh, oh it's too low the original cart as much as possible. We were originally going to have our legs out and sort of straddle the engine to try and make as much room as possible, but we didn't really like that idea, <laughs> so we're just going to try and squeeze ourselves into this. Steering wheel's going to go here, and we're going to try and make up some pedals. <laughs> Might be a hand throw because it's really hard to use your, your feet here, but and maybe a hand brake. But this is what we're going to come up with, we think. So she's going to be Low. Low. I reckon it's going to be a rat rod. Yeah, I think it's going to be rat roddy. I've always wanted to build a rat rod, so this is about as close as I'm going to get to a rat <laughs> rod anytime soon. I just love the exhaust. Yeah, the that's, exhaust is going to make it. That's what I really want. Nathan wanted to put the exhaust here. <laughs> Except there's one obvious problem with that, is that your face is directly <laughs> in the 8 of 5. <laughs> so if he wants to do that, he can have it like that. We'll make another exhaust for him. You can have it so like that. can switch it. Yeah. Alright, so what do we need to build now? Now that we have this sort of figured out roughly where we want to put everything, now we want to build a frame. Mm -hmm. It's late in the day, we've just finished work, so we haven't got a lot of time, but what we're going to try to achieve this afternoon is build the frame, which is literally just a rectangle that we can sort of bolt everything to, mm -hmm. or at least get the rear axles bolted to. The front, there's a bit more work in that because we've got spindles and everything for that, so that might be another day, but I think we can get the rear axles on, at least get a, a ladder chassis built, and maybe look at how we're going to engine, mount the engine. These are basically just going to become canards now, so there's not going to be any strength or structural integrity in these. They're just going to bolt on to... Just to make it look cool. Yeah, I just slipped and nearly fell out. Yeah. It's really sketchy. <laughs> but yeah, this is where we're at. I like doing this. Should we start making the frame? Yeah, I reckon we should start making the frame. Let's do it. I was think I've been thinking about this all week. You know, as much as I love building the cars and I love putting stuff back together, there's a part of me that loves doing full custom stuff. Yeah, I do too. Full custom yeah. stuff is the most where there's fun. Where there's no guide. There's no guide, there's no it's instructions. It's not like building an XYGT GT where we're trying to go off 50 years ago how it was put together. No. It's our own. We're doing it as we like. That's why we <laughs> welded the nut on the crankshaft. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it worked. It's working, it held up. Yeah. God help us if we ever need to change that, but it's working. We get a new edge. <laughs> All right, let's get some steel and start cutting, or make some measurements first, that's probably more important. Yeah, let's draw up what our plan is. That way the weight is over the wheels. So this will be sunk out, so maybe we cut it. Cut it there. Happy rails. 
Chassis. 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 What do we got? What do we got? We've got our two middle beams. That's going to make up our square frame. Oh, I reckon we definitely tack it all to begin with. Yeah, yeah. we've got maybe even that one. And then we can fully weld the back and then cut that one out. So we'll weld up the rear completely because we're just that confident that that's how we're going to have it. <laughs> and what we've figured out is we're actually just going to bolt these straight to the chassis. The reason being is it's actually going to allow us to rake the frame a little bit. I'm going to drop the front end a little bit like a wrap rod should be, I suppose. I went down to Burson and I bought a bolt back of bolts, finally. So hopefully somewhere in here, we should be able to find some bolts that are going to fit. The good thing is they're all labelled too. We were going to put bolts through it and crush tube it and everything like that, but we don't have any crush tube, so we're going to do our next favourite thing, which is we're going to nut the bitch. <laughs> and we're going to test the tensile strength of nut certs, because if they fail, we'll find out. <laughs> and then we'll worry about that if it happens, but for the minute, I think it's going to be fine. Yeah! Nut set goes in. Boom shakalaka. <sighs> Lovely. At least by using nuts, earth, now we have a clear flat bottom. So there's no nuts to drag or anything that's like true, that. That's true, that's true. Wonky. <laughs> How excited are you to put this on the ground and sit in it? Very. I, I kind of really would love to get the front wheels on, but I think there's a lot of work. I think there's a bit more work in that than we. No, I think we'll just leave it in that. Yeah. We still got to pull the gearbox out of the fairlane today. <laughs> hey, that only takes us 45 minutes. We have our jobs, mate. I already, I already know. Bloody 17 and 15 mil spanner to get that drive shaft out. <laughs> 17 mil for the bell housings all the way around. Yeah. The 24 mil bolt. for the uh, crank bolt. The crank bolt. 10 mil for the bracket for the BM shifter. Yeah, 13 mil for the exhaust bolts. I think we got this. <laughs> oh, this is like God. Man. We are man child. I know. <laughs> Where's my washers? Ready? Yeah, boy. Boom. That's pretty solid, eh? Perfect. It'll work. It's fine. Time for some dinner, eh? Yeah, see. Mmm. This is what you need on Friday night in the shed. Building man child things. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Oh, it's actually the way much at all. Well, there's no edge here. So you got the heavy side. I got a heavy side. Now it looks like a really good thing. <laughs> Are we ready for this? Go for it. Oh, I can't do it with all the pizza in me. <laughs> Alright, the front looks a bit weird because it's extra long at the minute and we've got a wheel that's just doing its own thing over there. But, we have the beginnings of a go-kart. <laughs> oh, it's not graceful to get into, it's like no. a shift car. Oh wow, yeah. there's zero flex in that thing, eh? It's so yeah, probably about... Yeah, uh, uh, it's gonna be like <laughs> I know hitting your shins. Well, I reckon that's success. We have the beginnings of what will be, I reckon, a little pretty cool little rat rod go kart, which we'll never be able to go anywhere with. <laughs> so it'll be a cool ornament by the time it's done. Well, that's it for this episode. A little bit of a different one, but it's good fun, I reckon. Yeah, it was good fun. This is something we've been wanting to do for a long time now, so it's exciting to actually see it. And I think, I think reality well i think it's a i think it's a, something that everyone has always wanted to do yeah. build a go-kart everyone's wanted to build a go-kart yeah. the kids that are watching this did you dad have a welder go annoying say you want to build a go-kart <laughs> that's all you need you need a radio flyer yeah you need a radio flyer to start with obviously can't build it out of anything else but anyway if you like this episode please make sure that you like subscribe to see more i'd say stuff like this but this is the first time we've done something like this yeah to see other stuff that we do <laughs> um all the continuation of this all the continuation for this but if you do like and subscribe, it really does help us out and go a long way to growing the channel even further. And also, don't forget to check out Burson Garage or head into your local Burson store to get your own bucket of bolts. Yeah. Don't forget too, guys, November is obviously running, as you can tell by the dirty motors that Nathan and I are currently <laughs> displaying. 
Uh, if you could do us a favor and click the link in the description below, it'll take you over to our Movember page and if you can make any form of donation, that would be really awesome and really helpful. It's a cause that we, we really believe in it. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> until we, uh, are we tackling this again or are we doing something else? Oh yeah, it's on the wrong side though. Okay. Uh, what are we doing next? No, we have a few reviews coming up actually. Yeah. So stay tuned for the reviews. We'll get back to this or something else real soon. So yeah. see you in the next episode. Yeah. Do you reckon we're nailing the schematic so far? Our very technical schematic. Oh, bang on. Looks just right, I reckon. <laughs> there's even a bit of a rake, look, you can see. Yeah, you can a, see the rake. There's a little bit of a rake. Yeah. Do you ever get those moments when we're doing stuff and you go, why do we do the stuff that we do? <laughs> this is one of them. And I know why, because why not? Why not? I like how you have the ear, like, headphones, the ear, earmuffs. What? I can't hear you, i got headphones on. Freaking weather. I know. It's horrible. <sighs> I love it already. What I'm going to get is to be split in my pants, thank you. <laughs> I think it's time for the new shorts. Oh, they just got to last the year, that's it. I'll get new shorts at the end of the year. <laughs> I'll go get a sweat. Fuck off. Any little bit of swarf on it. It's like, it, it goes like this. <laughs> he just had that square too. I know. Do you reckon the fair lane's going, a go-kart? I'm still broken and you're making a go-kart. Uh, if you were wondering while watching this, if we have to pull the auto out of the fair lane again, that's what we're doing after this. Yeah. We're so pulling is, it out. We're gonna have some dinner and then we're gonna pull that out after we make this frame. Yeah, so good times ahead. Is that one together? Yeah, but there's no guarantees it's square. Yeah. It's like watching a turtle on his back. No! I thought you were gonna weld it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's pretty. It's like coated. Yeah, it's a good one. I bought it's it. It's nice. Yeah. It's nice. Ba, 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 it's not going to sound like that. <laughs> Red Wagon Racer. What are we going to call it? What are we going to call this project, actually? Word of the day can be comment to this comment. What oh, this project what should to be call called. this. Yeah, good one. And the best answer, we'll send out a sticker pack too. How about that? Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, you mole! <laughs> I was like, no, the sensor! <laughs>